In this video, we're talking about 5-alpha reductase inhibitors. What does 5-alpha reductase do? It actually takes testosterone to DHT or dihydrotestosterone. This is the chemical formula for testosterone when this enzyme 5-alpha reductase acts on this molecule, it'll take away that double bond. And that's the only difference between testosterone and DHT is that DHT does not have this double bond between these carbons here because it's been reduced by NADPH. And then it get, NADPH drops off the hydrogen into this molecule and it gets oxidized to NADP+. Now there's indications for these drugs, one being benign prostate hyperplasia or BPH. You don't want a big honking prostate impinging on your male urethra where urinary flow is impeded and you get urinary retention and it can cause a bunch of issues. Androgenic alopecia, this is male pattern baldness. Both these places, the prostate and the cells of the scalp have androgen receptors that respond to DHT. If you're blocking DHT from being made by, with a 5-alpha reductase inhibitor, you're not gonna have that um, binding to these receptors, so you're gonna prevent that hyperplasia at the prostate. You're gonna prevent uh, DHT's effect on causing male pattern baldness in the scalp. And there's two main drugs that are prescribed for these purposes, one being finasteride, brand name Proscar or Propecia, and uh, the other one being Dutasteride, which brand's name, it, the brand name is Abadart. And uh, Dutasteride has a lot longer half-life. It's also a little bit stronger, but otherwise they're kind of in the same, they work the same way. So just wanted to share that quick video about 5-alpha reductase inhibitors.